Hello, Annie. Hello? Who's this? It's Lucy. Lucy who? Lucy Bertrand. As in my boyfriend's ex, Lucy Bertrand? Yes. I don't want to come off rude, but why are you texting me, Lucy? I know you saw me in Brett's drive the other night, talking to Brett, and I just wanted to clear the air a bit. I didn't want to surprise you. But I was just in town and I thought it would be nice to see Brett. He didn't know I was coming. It was kind of an impulsive decision on my part. Okay, again, I'm not trying to be rude, but how did you get my number? I have a cousin who lives in town. You used to wait tables with her. She's called Claudia. Claudia gave you my number? Why? I asked her for it. So you could reassure me about talking to my boyfriend? Well, my actual intentions aren't exactly to reassure you. What? What are they then? I've been doing a lot of thinking recently, and I want to get to know Brett again. You do? Yes. In fact, I'm thinking about moving here. So you can be close to your ex-boyfriend? Well, in part, yes. But also, I've missed this town since I've moved away. It's so boring in Ohio. There's a lot more going on here. So what, you want to be friends or something? Well, that would be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. But why else would you be messaging me? Something happened a few weeks ago, and it kind of changed my perspective on things. I had just been treading water a bit in Ohio, working these lousy jobs, and out of nowhere, I received a message from Brett. And in the message, he'd recorded me a song. You know how Brett loves to write songs. But he wrote this song for me, and I asked why. And he said he saw something that reminded him of me and wanted me to know he was thinking about me. He did what? I thought it was so, so sweet. And ever since then, we've been talking. And then he asked me a few days ago if I was ever passing through town if I wanted to get a coffee with him. So I thought I'd just pass through town. What are you trying to say, Lucy? That you want to have coffee with my boyfriend? Are you asking my permission? No, I'm not asking your permission. I'm telling you that I want to have coffee with Brett. In fact, I want to have lots of coffee with Brett. Well, you can't. Sorry, he's my boyfriend. And he's your ex-boyfriend, so no, you can't go and have coffee with him. You're not going to tell me what I can and can't do. No, but I'm telling you what Brett can and can't do because he's my boyfriend. And frankly, Lucy, you're coming off a bit psycho here. What are you saying? Are you back in love with Brett or something? I've never stopped being in love with Brett, Annie. We only broke up because my parents moved to Ohio. We didn't break up because we stopped loving each other. You are just a rebound for Brett. He doesn't love you. Yes, he does. He's been my boyfriend for nearly two years. Your relationship with Brett is circumstantial. How do you know what our relationship is like? I don't even know you. When I saw you on Brett's drive the other day, it creeped me out. You creep me out, Lucy. Who moves halfway across the country just to break up a relationship? I didn't move halfway across the country to break up a relationship. I moved halfway across the country to be with the man I love. The man I meant to be with. Why are you messaging me to warn me or something? I think you ought to know from me that this is going to happen. It's not my intention to go on behind someone's back. I like to be straight with people. Well, does Brett know what your intentions are? Not yet, but he will though. Soon enough. Stay away from my boyfriend. I'm sorry, Annie. I can't do that. No, seriously, you psycho. Stay away from him. If I see you within half a mile of Brett, things are going to turn very ugly. Are you threatening me, Annie? Yes, I'm threatening you, Lucy. If you know anything about Brett, you'll know he detests violence. Brett is a pacifist. I'm not. And I'll fight to keep my relationship safe from a psychotic ex-girlfriend. You can't fight this, Annie. Brett and I are meant to be together. It's inevitable. Walk away now and save yourself the heartache. I'm not walking anywhere. The only person who should be walking is you. So walk your psycho butt back to Ohio or wherever it is you came from. I'm afraid I can't do that, Annie. But I need you to know that I don't harbor any resentment towards you. And I'm sorry this had to happen. Nothing has happened. When I tell Brett about this, you better hope he doesn't file a restraining order against you. You need serious help, Lucy. Goodbye. Hey, Brett. Hey, babe. Oh my god, you wouldn't believe who just texted me. Who? Take a guess. Miley Cyrus. No, dumbass. 
Okay, who then? Your ex-girlfriend. Lucy? Yeah. What? That's weird. Why? Did she want to apologize for the other night? No. So what then? Brett, your ex-girlfriend is a total psycho. Oh, come on. Psycho ex, that's such a cliche. Not in this instance. What did she say? She said a lot, and she's so crazy, I don't know how much of it is true. So I thought I'd text you and hear your side of it. Okay, shoot. Okay, so apparently Lucy got my number from Claudia. The waitress? Yeah, and she's moving here. No, seriously? Yeah, because she's still in love with you, Brett. She can't stop thinking about you, apparently. Your soulmates, apparently. This is weird. You're telling me? Anyway, she says this whole thing started because you wrote a song about her and sent it to her? That part is true. What? You're kidding. Well, to give it some context, so don't get mad. I found out her dad died, and I felt bad for her. I always used to write these goofy songs when we were dating that cheered her up. And I thought a message wouldn't do the trick, so I just wrote this goofy-ass song and sent it to her. A message would definitely have done the trick, Brett. You don't write songs about an ex, goofy or otherwise, and send it to them. And now she's interpreted it as a weird sign that you still love her. Do you still love her? No, hell no. But when I found out her dad had died, I felt bad for her. We were dating for such a long time. I just don't understand your thought process, Brett. I mean, you must have known she's a little bit unhinged. If you were dating her for so long. I thought she was kooky, but not like creepy or anything. Not like, say, psychopathic? No, no way. Lucy's not like that. She's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, the Lucy I was talking to earlier was pretty hell-bent on hurting our relationship. And specifically me. She's been living pretty remotely for a while. Maybe she's just lonely. She probably doesn't have many people to talk to. I'm getting a lot of sympathetic vibes from you, Brett. Towards Lucy. I need a little bit more reassurance that you're not going to run off with your crazy ex. Annie, there's no way I'm going to do that. I love you. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And maybe you could, you know, write me a song once in a while. I've written you loads of songs. Not recently. Okay, I'll write you a song. Tonight, I promise. You better. And not one of those goofy-ass songs, a proper one, about how much you love me. Okay, babe, I'll do it. And as for Lucy, when she makes her move, and she's probably outside your house with binoculars right now, you need to tell her to back off and go back to Ohio. Of course. Babe, I'm not going to get back together with Lucy. She clearly can't let go of the past. But I'm going to let her down easy. She's fragile at the moment, and I don't want her to do anything stupid. Okay, as long as letting her down easy doesn't involve serenading her again. No, I'll just tell her that I'm happy with you. And I hope she finds happiness with someone else, too. Okay, that sounds good. But if she doesn't stop, then you should really consider a restraining order or something. Because that girl gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't think that will be necessary. Okay, babe, let me know if she talks to you. I will do. And stop worrying, it's all gonna be fine. I love you, Brett. Love you too, babe. Lucy? Annie? Have you thought about what I told you yesterday? Yeah, it's pretty much all I've been thinking about. And I want you to know that you and Brett, it's never going to happen. Oh yeah? It already has happened. It's in the past, Lucy. You have to let it go. Brett is my boyfriend now. I've already told him about what you said to me yesterday, and he told me that he doesn't love you anymore. And that you need to go back to Ohio now. He told me about your dad, and Lucy, I am sorry. I really mean it. I, I don't know you, but that must have been really hard for you. But you're not going to find what is missing in your life with Brett. You're not going to fill that void with my boyfriend. That sadness you're feeling, you're going to need to overcome that on your own. Have you lost someone close to you, Annie? Not like that, but I have overcome bad times in my life. And I did it through a lot of soul searching. And I did it on my own terms. I lost my dad. That was out of my control. There's nothing I could have done to stop that. I've come to terms with his passing. But what I can't come to terms with is losing Brett. We shouldn't have broken up. We were never meant to be separated like this. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about him and what could have been between us. And about what will be between us. You're living in a fantasy, Lucy. This is the real world. And things don't always work out as you want them to. Have you thought about the consequences of your actions about me at all? 
I have known about you, Annie. Brett has told me. We've never stopped talking. What? We talk every day. No, you don't. Wake up, Lucy. I know how Brett feels about me, and I know how he feels about you. He cares about you, Annie, but it's just a superficial infatuation. There's no love there. Not like ours, anyway. You met over a dating app. Did you know that over 80% of couples meet on dating apps now? Brett and I have a different kind of love. We're special. We're part of the 20%. It's all natural between us. It was never forced. You were just someone he used to get over the heartache of being apart from me. Whatever you think about mine and Brett's relationship, you're wrong. Maybe I don't know everything about your relationship, Annie, but I know about mine and Brett's, and he still loves me. Based on what? On a hunch? No, based on fact, actually. He told me. When? As recently as yesterday, actually. Yesterday? You're insane! Why do you think I'm here? In your town? I'm not stupid, Annie. I wouldn't travel halfway across the country on a hunch. That song he wrote me? It was about us. About how he's never stopped thinking about me. And how he wants to be with me again. No, it's not. He told me it was a goofy song. It didn't sound goofy to me. And there was nothing goofy about the kiss we shared last night, either. What? Yeah. No. Brett said the next time he saw you, he'd tell you to go back to Ohio. That's not what he told me. What did he tell you, then? He told me to meet him where we first met. I met him there. And then he told me how happy he was that I was back in town. And that he hadn't stopped thinking about me since I showed up on his driveway. That he talked to you, but made you false promises. That after some soul-searching, as you so eloquently put it, he has made his mind up. And that he knows we are meant to be together. And then we kissed. And it felt so right. Like everything in our lives has been leading to this moment. Of closure. Closure? Yeah, closure. The truth is, Annie, that's all I ever wanted. To know that Brett felt the same way about me. I told him that much, but I can't leave my mom. I can't leave her alone in Ohio. I told Brett that I want him back, but only if he moves to Ohio. He said he couldn't, so that was that. We parted ways and I left. So you're not in town anymore? No, I'm not. I'm flying back to Ohio tonight. I haven't heard from Brett since yesterday. Annie, I want you to cherish what you have with Brett. He's a good guy. I'll always love him. If you're telling the truth about last night, which I highly doubt, by the way, because I think you've lost touch with reality, Brett has got some serious explaining to do. I'm not necessarily going to forgive him, never mind cherish him. I got my closure with Brett. I know how he feels about me now. Find out what he feels about you, Annie, because you owe yourself that much. This is crazy. You're telling me how I should feel? I don't even know who you are. If Brett and my chapter is finished, then maybe yours has just begun. You're not making any sense. Are you high or something? No, Annie. My head is clear. I really do hope you find happiness, if not with Brett, then with someone else. I just need to know one thing before you leave my life forever. Please, please, can you assure me that you'll never step foot in this town again? And you'll never talk to my boyfriend ever again. I told you, Annie, I've got my closure now. I need to go back to Ohio and take care of my mom. Cherish the people who you love. Never take anything for granted. You don't know what tomorrow will bring. I live every day like it's going to be my last. And you should too. Okay, bye. And Lucy? Yeah? Seriously, consider therapy. I'm so glad I can draw a line in the sand and Lucy is out of the picture again. Brett told me that he met Lucy and that she had tried to kiss him, but he told her no. And it was only after telling her that he loved me instead that she decided to leave town and go back to Ohio. Usually, I believe a woman's word over a man's, but in this case, I am going to make a big exception. I truly hope Lucy gets over whatever it is she's going through. And I truly hope that I never see her again.